in early periods of evolution of any occupants, the territory of movement of a group is undefined. Common lands lying in between define the boundary of shifting nature based on tradition and might of the setting being. The movements for earning the living through hunting, collecting, food gathering and many other primary productions are limited in that very close space. So, it was in the earlier period. So, all these occupations were common. Later on, it becomes territory for a particular occupying group named tribe in literature tribal territories still abound number in several human occupants areas of the world these are very common but cultural growth manifestations result into various religions whose boundary transcends the living space culturally it is a fixed territorial boundary either a segment of kinship region or otherwise occupied which is named as village. The geographer is most surrounding a settlement, it automatically coincides with the adjacent village boundary following the best practical possibility of being packed in space through the various natural and man made forces in operation. The boundary becomes a hill, nala, wasteland or some usual prominent vegetable group first and then as time passes a demarcated man made boundary with pillars or other symbols fixed on the land. So, in the beginning of the settlements people had very good planning to build their houses in available materials. This becomes the abundant space of village within which the rights and obligations of settlers are defined. In most of the countries such boundaries are defined and recorded to be produced on the maps. These coinciding the boundaries present before us shapes of village territories having regional variations in size area and packing in space. Within this bounded space the settlers establish habitations of areas type showing again variations in size, shape and form as discussed earlier. Here human organization of bounded space is expressed through various interactions and manifestations. One obvious concrete expression is the residential built up area with all sorts of community sectors and the other being agricultural landscape in the form of fields or other sources of primary production. For example, mining, fishing etcetera the bounded shape of settlement has already been discussed. Now, we came to approach the study of safe of a village with boundaries as such. Why this analysis is required to see the safe of any settlement? It is not futile exercise. We are going to have safe in itself speaks enough the whole trend and type of humanization of the earth. In nature the best occupants of space is through geometrical shape and there are other shapes also for example, hexagon is other form of polygons with more than four sides. This is well demonstrated through the cobwebs or bees or ant hill species. The deviations from this natural plan indicates that some cultural factor have been responsible at various stages of evolution. 
we can compare the boundaries of the United States with that of China or India. Similarly, Paris boundaries in Europe and that of a village in Southeast Asia are a tribal village and non tribal counterpart in any region. The difference in shape will explain the factors in background either political or administrative or historical or religious or any other form. Here is a person who called Bange. He rightly concludes that whether we use matrix describing surfaces, polynomials, Fourier series of Tyler series or device classification and uh, subjectively assign shapes to it like oxpo, circular, rectangular etcetera. The problem remains that in the first case the measure reflect more than shape as they include orientation also. In the second common method classifications are often vague and assignment of shape to the various categories lacks confidence. That is why this first theorem or a theory states that any simply connected shape can be matched by the polygon of any number of sides whose sides are of equal but variable length. We shall deal with the qualities of polygon in sequel. The approach concerns with the various similarities of geometrical forms observed in the field are mapped on topographical sheets or cadastral maps. This approach first applied by German geographer, he is a classical one and has been followed by many a writer elsewhere. Here we can emphasize another quantitative approach. This quantitative approach is better termed as a geometrical approach. For quantitative approach, we have to study a very important theory given by Walter Kristler. He has given a model of distribution of centers in any uniform space with several lattices arrangements, gives the idea of hexagonal spatial distribution of settlement. After uh, the theory of uh, Kristler, another person comes who called Losch. He also dealt with the packing of centers in the colonization of a plain area leading to hexagonal arrangement. He also supported the Kristler theory of hexagonal pattern of the settlement. The idea is however, based on the elementary packing theory in which a territory having various shapes of villages and their boundaries, the efficient division can be best. Here we have two ways of explaining those things. The first one is having efficiency of movement. The second one is having efficiency of boundaries. The first one involves the distance minimization in between center and outer margin. The second is measured by prime meter length of the territory. The hexagon is about four fifth as the efficient as the circle both in terms of uh, radial distance and perimeter. Thus, circular arrangement of packing space however, is not without defects. In circular packing either some areas remain unused or there is overlapping as regards hexagonal tessellation one of the commonest criticism is that it is far too rigid and abstract. Still following the works of uh, natural scientist hexagons are much used in models of settlement structure. The concept of shape measurement 
started from the work of Thomson in biological science. In geomorphic studies, Miller and the other basis quantitative expression of the shape of the river basin used basin circularity ratio. He used shape index as a s to measure that shape which is expressed as the ratio of the area of the village or a country to the area of the circle with the longest axis having a pre meter of so that. Here the multiplier is computed to adjust the shape index ranging from 1 it means to circle it is to 0 in elongated shape. The contrast numbers on any boundary also provide a measure for shape of village or countries. Higet is one of the important expert took the Brazilian coastal countries and recorded contact numbers. Here the mean contact number was 5.71 and one out of the three countries has a six neighbors. Mayer and Haggett measured English passes east of Swindon on the basis of contact numbers as shown the shapeless has attributed to the factor of contrasting relief. Here one more important person Peterson he counted administrative communes in Scotland and of a Fayan in Denmark the average value for 553 communes was 5.83, but he concluded that the administrative netin in Denmark was basically triangular. Haggett however found in Brazilian countries that higher population density areas were more closely packed example higher contact number. He examined this relationship in countries of Santa Catrina state based on data for 9 decades and found that contact numbers increased from 3.52 in 1872 to 5.22 in 1960. Rashid in Bangladesh computed a shape of 19 districts taking the measurement of longest and shortest axis and developed an index of departure from geographic center, but its applicability to rural areas is yet to be tested. Many other researchers like Gibbs, Simons, Boys and Clark, Wilkins and Shaw have also worked in measurement of shape, particularly in urban areas where cultural factors are, are the only determining ones of the shape. Rana P. B. Singh did good exercise in shape analysis in his work. He also tried to transform shape into derelict regions. His findings are clear from the map applying Miller's formula. He finds that there is a general trend from elongation towards the skew and the area does not show the gaps among the group of frequency distribution of shape index as in the case of Brazilian. Here the mean of contact numbers is 4.5 only showing that rectangular system of village boundary is more commonly adjacent to village have circular shape and big sizes. Singh and Singh taking hypothetical case of settlement with its nucleus along the river bluff simulated phase of its growth. The idea behind this notional simulation was that linearity has its own limitations and during its evolutional phase the settlement takes circular or curvilinear shape in suitable growth conditions. The phase wise growth 
of settlement having through different periods further or having independent separate growth situation is represented here. A study conducted on Gorakhpur district by Singh was based on Miller formula. It reveals that good results in Indian environment. Here 200 villages have been selected on the basis of proposive random sampling from the Gorakhpur district. The computed result show that in real sense settlement do not exist in the exact little zones. The mean S value indicated the maximum frequency mean the triangular shape. Additionally taking the limit up to square lattice this frequency reached 77.5 percent marketing considerable preponderance of square shape it may also be supported through visual impression. In fact, the main quisitive factor for such growth has been the rectangular deviation of land evolved in ancient India. Only 7.5 percent of sample villages exhibit shape near to circles while only about 4 percent villages have recorded a hexagonal shape. Among other shape characteristic contract number and contract index C are very important. A comparative look at village frequencies according to yes and a controversing situation geometrically it has been found that square lattice is common, but the observed frequencies show that hexagonal lattice is rather more frequent as supported by the mean value of contract number. The corresponding association of these indices are further analyzed showing test. Here it is notable that culture and environmental conditions are mostly responsible for such contrast. Likewise, other parts of India and even some other countries for example, Brazil reveal the same fact. It is notable that in the present case the frequency histogram does not record any range gaps. This tendency indicates the variant character of village shapes which may further support the values of contact index. The observed frequency distribution of shape contact number and contact index may be further compared to the expected frequency with an assumption that the region lies in invariant environment as well as every group has equal chances of probability for such interrelationship test in the most useful technique. The values of the above attributes have been computed as 43.90, 34.64 and 191.30 respectively. Comparing these values to the tabulated value successfully at 9.9 .9 and 7 degrees of freedom, it has been found that even at 0 0.1 percent probability level, the null hypothesis that do invariant environment there may be any change in frequency distributions has not been acceptable. The statement gives much emphasis upon the environment control which is the basic characteristic of the Poisson distribution mathematically expressed as where the parameter is the expected number of points presumable area and x is defined the random visible since the village samples are taken within the assumption that the location of the each village is interdependent of the location of any other point. The model of 
process and discussion will be applied successfully. The association ship between area and population attributes in the context of shape presents a revealing picture. The scatter diagram showing relationship of contact index population density and aerial size of 200 sample villages do not show any significant correlation among these attributes as the region lies in the fertile plain of the Ganga valley. Similarly, to Brazilian countries it may be noted in some areas that more closely packed areas have relatively higher population density and therefore, they have higher contact number than highly. Populated density will be followed by the higher contact index as well as the aerial size. Safe transformation. The concept of transformation village shapes is analyzed within the two perspectives of constructing serial polygon, making dilution C triangular and cellular nets. The hexagons, although its root goes back to mid 19th century, when mathematician Dritzlet introduced the concept of serial polygons, the detailed properties have been studied later and by D. Archie Thompson. The fundamental characteristic of these polygons within two assumptions of their validity are the area within the interesting boundary lines of the polygon lies near to the enclosed center than to any other center and a center dominate, dominates all areas lying geometrically nearest to it.